hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can read holding register data of our Morbus tcp device in the lab view software okay so we have created a lab view project and using that project we are reading the holding register data of our Morbus tcp simulated device now in this video we are going to do the same but instead of holding register data we are going to read the input register data so here is my Morbus simulator device and here is my uh, lab view project okay now if i disconnect as of now and if i go to connect then you can see the ip address is 127.0.0.1 which i have specified here port number 10502 which i have specified here unit id will be one timeout and how much input register i want to read i have to specify it here and what will be the starting address okay that i have to specify here and based on that it will give me the result here so if i press ok here and if i you know run my project then you can see it is reading the data of input register for from my you know morbus tcp simulated device okay if i change the value of input register 1 to 26 then you can see it is reading the data okay i can also read the data from here like for input register 0 we have a value for input register 1 input register 2 and input register 3 and also i can read the data for input register 4 but i am only reading the data of four input registers so i have to increase this count so i can increase this count by 10 to read the 10 input register data and i can run this project so you can see for five fifth input register i have a value of five for sixth i have six for seventh input register i have a value of seven you can see here for eight for nine you can see okay so this is how you can read input register data of your morbus tcp device in the lab view you can also use some another graphical visualization uh, you know uh, object to display the data in the chart format or in the thermometer format or in the gauge format it's up to you but for the demonstration purpose i have only used a simple object to display the actual data of my morbus tcp device okay you can also use this project you can also modify the project to read data from uh, you know, different different uh, modbus tcp device so that is also possible okay if you want to you know uh, convert this data if you want to do some mathematical operation on this data then also you can do it with the lab view so we can do everything in the lab view to from reading the data and to modifying the data and sending to somewhere else or to log the data okay so everything is possible and if i disconnect here if i disconnect here then you can see it will automatically disconnect if i try to connect it again then it is not allowing the tcp connection or my simulator is not open or it is not working or it is not up and running so it will not able to connect once i reconnect it okay then you will see it is reading the data okay and it is not stopping automatically okay so this is how you can use lab view to read your input register data of any of your morbus tcp device if i want to stop this uh, process then i can click on stop to stop the process uh, if you want to buy this lab view project then link is given in the description you can buy from there also you can ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp to buy this lab view project okay and you after buying the project you can you know modify the project like as per your need okay so i hope this thing is clear that we can read the data of uh, you know more best tcp device in the lab view and if you want to read the input register data or holding register data in the lab view then we can read it now in the next video we are going to cover that how to read you know the input status data and the coil status data in the lab view okay and in the future videos we will also cover that how to write or how to modify the coil status or how to modify the holding register values from the lab view okay so everything we will see in the future videos and we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we are going to see how we can you know read the data of input status or we can say discrete coil in the lab view so stay tuned for the next video and till then take care goodbye and thank you